Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crone. Thanks for joining me again. Today I've got this quick little farm sunset scene. Nice big dark shadowy silhouetted foreground. A few buildings there, lights, um, trees, and then got sort of bright light in the middle and a big dark cloud. So let me show you the colours I've used for this one before we go any further. So I've used the ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, these are in crimson. And I don't think I used either of any of those lots. So it was just the ones on this side. So just the four, the four colours. The brushes, I just used a three-quarter flat for the buildings. Got the usual Ron Ranson hike. And then just used a size zero rigger brush as well. I didn't use a number three today. Right, so I'm going to kick it off with a, some clean water. And then start off with... A bit, of sienna, a bit of yellow down there in the light sections. Just a little bit of blue as well, a bit of crimson as well. A bit of Payne's grey, lizarding over on this top left hand side. Nice dark cloudy section. A bit more blue. Darker. Well, back to the lights. I want to clean the brush again. Take the excess off on the tea towel. And I'm going back into crimson and yellow. Some nice lights down this end. Push that up there into that dark section. up into it as well. And then back into the darks. Right and that's just a basic, just a simple backdrop to kick it all off. A little bit stronger. A little bit stronger up there. The darker this is, the lighter the other sections will appear. Oh, that's, a, that's our backdrop, I think. I want to bring one of these down below us. I didn't, I didn't want them the same, the same, so I'm going to bring that one down. Like that. Just so it's lower than that one. So I don't want, I'm not looking for symmetry or anything like that. Um, what I've done looking for though is a flat piece of paper against this plywood. So I'm just refixing it. Take the clips off, pull it tight, refix it on this side. Something like that. I'll come back to them and, and do it a little bit darker in a minute. But for now, I'm going to pop a few little trees. Start off with the trees. Just keep them nice and small to keep a big sense of scale. Something like that. Something down there as well. As 
use the flat brush, three quarter inch flat I've got down there. Bit of a lizard, bit of Payne's grey. Bit of ultramarine in there as well. Basically just making a general sort of dark, dark colour. I'm gonna pop just about there. You know, like a big barn. This is like gonna be like a sort of farm type setting. Coming down there like that and just down on the side, just darken that off a little bit. Now I'm switching to a zero, size zero rigger brush. I want a really dark colour now because this is like a I gotta be honest, I don't know what you call these things. I have to Google it. The circular bit there, the wind catches on the top. Something like that. I'm doing this a bit, a bit tight. I just want to loosen it up a little bit. Needs to be a bit narrower. I was being a bit too deliberate. I don't know, when I when I paint too deliberately, I just never turn out the same. I need to, I was doing that too slow, I think. And so I think just some more little details. Well I'll come back down in a minute. But for now I'll just brush this in. So I'm just going to go over what I've already done with another layer. I've dried that one to fix it in place. And now I'm going back into a bit of Payne's Grey Lizard in, a bit of the um, Ultramarine in there. Let's go back over that, make it a little bit darker. Into these trees, let's just flick up a few more. of a path, hint of a path in there somewhere. Just get these darks in first, I'm just bashing all the darks in. Back to this little zero rigger. Just 
Let me do some of these. Put a few more little posts in. Just a hint of something going on. Um, just scrape a path in with a bit of card. figures down there. Gonna stick some shadows on these I think just For little birds and I'm just going to scrape my name into the corner there and call that one finished. Let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. This is our finished painting so we go, we're going to have a closer look at it. The sky was a bit of a mishmash of we've got sort of lemon yellow, alizarin crimson, um, was the, did I use raw sienna? I can't even remember now. Um, basically all the light colours on the palette and then use brush these dark clouds in with predominantly Payne's grey and lizard in crimson. Same colours down in the foreground using those dark couple of layers just to get that sort of dark tone, that sort of silhouetted sunset dusk look. These buildings brushed in very, very simply, just the main basic shape. And then as well, just cast little shadows off those fence posts. It's where our little two figures just invite to join the view over the other side. And then a few more trees, shoes in the corner of the hike, and you can just see where I've just scraped just little bits in there, bits and pieces with the with the um with the car, just little highlights amongst the darks. And then also use the card just to scrape in this rough path there. So that's it for this. I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration, little sunset scene on the farm. If you've got any questions, please ask. Keep practicing. Do join me over on patreon.com slash Stephen if you get the opportunity. Until next time, happy painting.